All right, it is officially next gen week and everything that you see here is all next gen inspired because we're doing some massive upgrades to the setup. And I thought I would bring all of y'all along. So with that said, let's dive in. So I did open a couple of these things and then my wife had this brilliant idea of why don't you unbox it and show everyone what you're doing? And I was like, okay, let's do that. So I actually opened a couple of these, but I didn't dive in. I like stopped myself so we could, you know, be good to go. So first things first, granted, I'm not talked about it yet, but I might have one of the brand new RTX cards and we might be going to be doing a bit of a setup overview from that. So I have some upgraded 4K cables here. Uh, this is actually DisplayPort. This is Ivanki, I think that's how you say it. This is the first thing though, is these things are freaking beefy too. Yeah, peep that. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that, that's the thing too. Like I've definitely bought, again, I, I'm probably am butchering the name, but Ivanki cables before and very high quality and you really just, as far as I'm aware, you can't go wrong, but I do want to test and just see which one I have the better results or maybe the exact same results, who knows. I'm gonna get these big ones out of the way here up next. These, plus I'll just kind of get the quote unquote lame stuff of a build out of the way first, but these are actually pretty important, especially if you're trying to do nice clean cable management. These are from D-Line. These are just basically cable runners. It's actually a cable runner kit. So you actually get everything that you need to be able to do like corners and stuff like that. And you can place this above your baseboard or just along the bottom of your wall to run cables along your wall without having to go inside and do any damage. Especially if you've got a rental, something like that. And then I believe you can also sand these down and paint them too to match your actual wall color. So these are pretty important if you're wanting to do a fully clean cable, how I wanna say that, fully clean cable managed setup. So same thing with this. This is just the same thing except for this one is specifically for like a TV. So if you can't go in a wall, it's an insulated wall, so you think it's gonna be a pain and the friggin' butt or something like that, then you can pick up something like this. I've had something like this before, but this one is actually a little, I would say better. Again, this is also from D-Line, uh, a little wider, so, so you can run more cables up to your TV. And this also can be sanded down and painted. So now that we got those out of the way, let's get to some fun stuff here. For some reason, and I remember they did this on the, I don't remember on PS3, but for sure on PS4 and Xbox, well definitely PS4. They released accessories like a week, week and a half, two weeks early. So, yes, we do have the brand new DualSense here. Ah, yes, okay. Definitely feels different. It doesn't dip down in the middle. Definitely heavier. Man, that is, that is a meaty controller comparatively to the PS3. Imagine comparing this to like the OG six axis PS3 controller. <laughs> that would be pretty insane. Wow, this feels great. I've heard nothing but good things from other reviewers, like just how this is one of the most next gen things besides loading times is the DualSense and its integration with all the different games that they're launching with the PS5. So excited to truly check this out. Plus friggin' USB-C, finally USB-C on one of these controllers. So it's so much easier to hook up. So freaking tired of micro USB on PS4 controller. Okay, I guess in that same vein, let's check this out. I've actually, this is the first thing I got. I, I was like, why is this of all things getting here first? I think I can't even really use what I picked up because I figured you would need one to use PSVR or some form of VR. I'm really hoping that they release a wireless VR headset at some point in the life cycle of the PS5. Because I actually liked the PSVR for what it was. Definitely the cheapest way to get into VR, but not a whole lot to really show off here. This is just the PS5 camera. Uh, if you're gonna stream, it does because it's got dual cameras stuff like that. It does actually have, if I'm not mistaken, the ability to remove backgrounds and stuff. So if you're trying to stream directly from the console, the quality of this is apparently really good and the background removal tool stuff is actually pretty great as well. So content creation with this, probably pretty nice. Hang on, does it have built in where you can like, ooh, it does. Okay, yeah, it's literally built in to be able to, Okay, wow, that's actually that's actually pretty dope. Okay. All right, next up, I guess let's get this massive box out of the way real quick, which came, oh, I literally, I, I got this off my front freaking porch and it was opened. I was like, oh great, hope everything's okay. Now, I know a lot of people feel certain ways about Philips Hue and how they're incredibly overpriced. And while I do agree, I really wanna try the HDMI sync box out with this. It's Hue's first official gradient LED strip, and it's supposed to be pretty amazing with the HDMI sync box. So really wanted to check this out, and obviously we'll show it off to you guys in a video very, very soon. Remember what this even is. Like, 
I'm not even kidding. I have no idea what's in this box. Speaking of which, if you guys want to be here for more of the content, consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button. As always, consider hitting that like button. Tech videos, everything tech related. Obviously the new consoles will be doing pretty dope setup, showing you guys everything here. Oh, snap. I, look at this massive box. What? <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting this to be here right now. Okay. So I had one on the PS4 and it rarely got used, but this one actually having some decent dedicated buttons, I'm actually looking forward to it. So the reason why I didn't actually know what that was is because the estimated delivery of this wasn't until like a week after you guys are watching this video, if you watch it on launch day. It includes batteries, which is nice. All right, let's take a look. This is probably the most boring of the PS5 accessories, so I won't spend too much time on it, but it matches the aesthetic. It's got the PS button, dedicated Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify button, and uh, everything I guess you would want. Oh, it also has, vo oh, okay, so you can probably sync it with your TV and you actually have volume control over your TV or, or you know, whatever else you hook up to, that's dope. I also don't know what this is either. I mean, I know, I know it's one of two things. Like, it's not a situation of, I don't know what this is. Okay, so I was uh, literally about to post this video that you're watching and then my Xbox Series X actually got here and I only have one camera angle right now, but also I'm sure anyone that really cares has probably already seen an unboxing, but I figured we would throw it in just really quick since we do have it here. I had my knife, but super easy peel off packaging. Okay, let's see. It is kind of heavy actually. It's got some weight to it. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, that's fancy, bro. Look at that. Power your dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. All right. This is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. Wow. Okay. Slide that out like that. Ooh. Bro, I'm like so excited right now. Next gen, man. I started this channel because I love I love tech, bro. I just I love tech. It's so much fun to talk about tech, unbox um, tech, all of that. So. That's why we got the channel. There it is. Yo, it looks good, man. I like that a lot. I like that aesthetic a lot. And of course they made the jokes about how to put ours vertically or how to put ours horizontally. Cause with the PS5, you gotta like screw the stand in and stuff, but nice. There's the IO on the back. Again, I'm sure you've already seen all this, but just so I can be thorough, you know, let's take a look at the controller. I'm very excited to check out the controller, even though it's, it's pretty standard. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a don't fix what ain't broke situation, I feel like. Wow, there's a very big difference in these two controllers now. Holy crap. Not that there always wasn't, but yeah, I definitely, you feel it now for sure. I like this D-pad. I like this D-pad a lot. And of course, it does come with batteries. All right, what else we got? Power cable, HDMI cable, I assume 2.1. Dude, the packaging on this, I am impressed. Very, very I, dude. The aesthetic of opening that like that is is nice, man. Wow. And there we go. Series X unboxed right here on the channel. Probably really fast, but you know, when you're late to the game, it is what it is, man. By the way, none of this is sponsored. Just to throw this out there, I know sometimes I watch these and people got sent a bunch of stuff for free. None of this is free. I bought all of this. I wanted more of these for when I stream. Uh, these are just ambience setting lights. And since I'm already so deep into the Hue family of items, I figured why not go ahead and pick up another one to place around the room to set the mood for during the streams, the videos and the main channel and all of that. Okay, so I know what this is then. So this, wow, they really sealed this one up good. Okay, holy crap. Man, this is like perfectly made for this. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, okay. Anyways, this is the HDMI sync box that you need. Again, the Hue stuff, they're absolutely overcharging for everything that these do. Like Their integration with stuff like this is what does set them ahead. So uh, I'm very excited to hook this up and have it do all its wonders with that LED strip and the other lights around the room and all of that. I guess just a quick thing about this. This is literally an HDMI switcher box. You plug all your devices into this. It has four HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, and then it reacts it's able to detect the colors coming through and it reacts to it. So if you're in a green scene, it'll turn things green, blue, pink, whatever. It's gonna react to your games, your TV shows, all of that. That's what this does. All right, so the last of these, but I am very excited about checking these out. 
You're like, Nano, I don't know what you mean by the last of these. Well, here we go, Pulse 3D wireless headset. So that's what's in this, as well as the DualSense, DualSense charging station. So this is every, so we have every single accessory available for the PlayStation 5. <laughs> this actually has some weight to it, which I mean, I guess it makes sense since you're going to be setting your controllers on it. So you want it to not like fall over, but all right. So includes power adapter and wow, dude, I, I think the thing I like so much about this is just everything like stays with the uh, like aesthetic here. So it's got contact right there. And so you don't have to plug it in. You just set it right down there on that, which I won't lie to you. That's why I really wanted it. And so I could just set it on that, get it charged it up when I'm not using it and we're good to go. But yeah, I love, they maintain that same aesthetic all the way through. Okay, let's see these. What's in this? Ah, accessories, probably the USB adapter, if I guess. All right, so we got a chat cable, basically adapter, USB-C cable, and yes, the wireless adapter, because you can use these on PC. And there's the headphones. Let's see, which is left? How cool do I look? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Uh, All right, yeah, so 3.5 cable, USB-C, wireless adapter, Pulse 3D headset. All right, we are almost done. Okay, so this box also is basically open. It got to me, I don't know what happened this week. A little bit of the longer, I hate that I bought so much stuff that is the same because I don't know how you say it, but Avanki cables because I have a triple monitor setup. Again, I'll have a full room tour very, very soon, but triple monitor setup, which requires lots of cables, especially when you're running two PCs for a dual PC setup. And then I got some more D-Line products, but basically if you're not familiar with these, which these are freaking great, is they are cable tidy kits. You can put your surge protector in this and everything else and you can route the cables out of them. They're perfect for it. And it looks so much better than just having that sit there with the cables going everywhere. So very excited about these. You can see what these are from the box, but I've been wanting a pair of like on desk. Oh, it's a box in a box, are you serious? Hang on, these better be the white ones. It's got showing, showing the black ones on the back. Power adapters, wow. They even come in these nice little pouches. Stuff like that, man. I don't know, that just feel like that sets you ahead of other companies when you pay attention to little things like that. All right, so that's power adapter. That's the rest of the power adapter. And then I bet this is to connect the speakers together. Oh, because it is. Oh, they also give you three and a half cable, three and a half millimeter cable, 3.5, sorry. Oh, and a micro USB for hooking up to your PC because they know these are used as studio monitors, whatever, a lot. Oh, they're the perfect size, man. They are the perfect size. So I'm adding a TV to my setup, which we're about to get to. And occasionally I'm probably gonna wanna hear stuff out of some actual speakers. And obviously don't wanna use the TV speakers themselves. I didn't really want a sound bar. So I got these. Oh, dude, I'm so, mm, they like smell new, man. It smells good. Look at them, they look great. Anyway, so they've got your pretty typical inputs, all of that, they also have Bluetooth, so hook your phone up to it, hook whatever up to it. And uh, of course they can also hook up to a PC. So it's great, good times. And the final box, which is like just so much stuff. So I'm not even gonna open this cause not, well, I guess I can, it's not anything special. Yeah, it's not literally nothing special, just a, a switch. Then I needed a new 4K switcher for my, th this is more like streamer problems. Although also too, I guess if you're, it just depends on your setup. But anyways, this is a HDMI switch. Makes for changing between different inputs very easily, especially if you are a streamer and you've got a bunch of different things you're trying to stream. This is great. That one's 4K. I, the one I've been using is 1080p because, well, didn't really matter. I just always output in 1080p because these current consoles in 4K are just kind of whatever. And then this is an actual splitter, a 4K splitter. So I needed this as well to go with it because my other splitter is only 1080p as well. And then to go with the actual speakers themselves, we got some uh, speaker stands here. This is gonna make sure like the vibrations and stuff from the actual speakers, they'll stay where they need to, prop them up. It's just great. Yeah, again, some of this stuff is just kind of whatever. That's why I'm not worrying about unboxing because it's like, there's nothing exciting about it. It's just some like rubber stands for speakers. So this is kind of exciting. So this is a Zest kit. It says in wall, but I just needed a longer, 8K capable cable. And really what this is, is a 48 gig gigabits per second cable. And what's important about that is because trying to output at 4K 120 requires a hefty, hefty cable. Look at this thing. So anyways, I had to pick one of these up because of how I'm gonna be running the setup, which you'll see in another video. But 
I wanna make sure that everything is getting pushed at its maximum capabilities and we are not skimping anywhere. So this is an 8K HDMI cable. And that's also crazy because even though this is 16 foot, this only costs $34.99. I remember back in the day for like a six foot HDMI cable was like, even for an off brand, it was like 50 bucks. Anyway, so on that same, on that same note, uh, I picked up some Avanki to test them as well. So I've got some six foot cables here. That'll be to run up to my wall to my actual TV. Then we've got a six foot actually from them, again, just to kind of test. Then we've got three foots, which I'm going to need to go from the actual consoles. These are much cheaper, by the way. I think these were like $9.99 a piece or something like that. These will have to go from the actual console into the switcher. Then we'll have to go from there into the splitter and then the splitter will have to send out the signal to the capture card, the TV, and potentially a monitor as well, depending on how I want to stream. And then last, nothing, literally this whole box is nothing crazy, but basically I wanted to try out a trip light because I've always heard good things about these. So a trip light surge protector for uh, all my stuff because the one I've been using is pretty old. Okay, and for this last thing, we're going mobile. So this is probably the most important part of the setup, obviously, but I needed a TV for my setup. I didn't have one. So we're, we went with this LG C10. Now the important thing is to know this is 4K 120, but I'm also gonna try and play some PC games on it. So it having G-Sync is just absolutely wonderful. And I've already opened it and here it is chilling out right here. So not a whole lot to see. Again, we're gonna be doing a whole setup preview once I get it ready to go, but that's the LG C10. The Series X is gonna look great on it. PS5 is gonna look great on it. I mean, the Switch is gonna look great on it. It's OLED, it's, it's gonna be awesome and of course, PC gaming, gonna look great. So anyways, with that, that is the video. I'm gonna be doing a full on breakdown, probably two different setup videos because there's so much going on over there. And I know a lot of y'all have been asking me for that. So anyways, y'all, as always, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. That's been today's video, a nice little unboxing that I won't lie to y'all, it was very random, but still, I'm glad to be able to bring you guys along. Anyways, y'all, have a great day. Keep on keeping on. Tyler signing off, and I'll see you all in the next one.